All right, Gun Climber here. Got a couple devices that I've been testing. I have a couple videos coming for rope sawing. Um, I actually took a fall on the click up and it didn't catch. So uh, the knot caught finally, but um, I wouldn't use the uh, click up for rope sawing. Definitely a bad idea. Um, if it fails once, hey, it's out of here. I uh, tested the Grigri too because I heard complaints that the new Grigri it does not catch and uh, it caught every time so I'm not quite sure what was up with that. Um, this is the Grigri Plus but I don't know why the Grigri would make a new Grigri that doesn't catch uh, as well as the old one. So um, I would say that's not true and uh, I don't know if somebody had it set up wrong or I don't know. But uh, I tested it and it caught right away. Um, I would say it's a good device for uh, aid climbing if you're rope sawing. I don't like it so much for uh, lead climbing because you have to feed the rope and if you're climbing anything hard, unless you're climbing really easy stuff and it really doesn't matter. Um, I would say the uh, silent partner is the way to go if you're doing any lead climbing rope sawing. But uh, the Revo uh, does work. Every time I've used it, it caught. Um, I did see a video of some guy testing it with a, I guess it was about 160 pounds and the rope ripped. Um, I'm not sure why that happened. I don't know if it was a defective Revo or if it was because it was fixed off of one point, um, which can cause a lot of stress in the rope. Um, Cause when you're lead climbing, uh, all the gear and the slings will kind of give you some give and it shouldn't do that, but uh, I've tested my Revo. I um, almost weigh 180, maybe 170, and um, I've tested the rope. The rope does jam in the Revo. That's what's nice about the Silent Partner. It's a round device, and it won't jam into the device. And uh, as you can see, there's grooves in there, and the rope, every time you take a fall, the rope gets stuck in the grooves. So, if that happens, you have to figure out a way to anchor yourself and take the weight off of the uh, Grigri and most likely disconnect the Grigri, open it up and pull the rope out, which can be dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. So uh, yeah, I definitely double check your system and make sure that you know exactly what's going on. But um, I do like the Revo for lead climbing because it feeds so nicely and uh, it Every time I fall and it catches, I've heard people say it doesn't catch for five to eight feet, but um, I've tested a lot. I've taken a lot of falls on this and it's always caught within like three to four feet um, from where you are. Unless you have a lot of slack in the anchor, and of course, no matter if you have the Grigri, it'll still, it'll still fall if you have a lot of slack. But um, if you don't have slack and it's tight and you fall from the point, I've always fallen three to four feet. Now, like I said, if you have like eight feet of slack in your system, if you're really far away and the rope's falling down, yeah, you're going to fall, but you're going to fall no matter what device you use. So, uh, you know, and if it's overhanging, it's a clean fall. So who cares? But uh, you got to be careful of uh, straight up walls and uh, inclines. So uh, definitely be careful out there. But uh, yeah, I do like it for uh, doing some rope soling lead climbing. Um, except I am probably in a few weeks, hopefully get some videos up of uh, some rope solos um on big walls maybe if i'm lucky uh it all depends on if i can find a good chunk of weather and some time to get out and uh i'm going to use the uh, greery for that because uh for aid climbing doesn't matter <laughs> it's only if you're uh leading that i would use this all right see you out there soon